Welcome to TTV News with some latest events in Tây Province. The audience, on August 11, Tây Ninh Provincial Association for Wisdom of Asian Orange, the Oceans, have a meeting to mark the 61 anniversary of the Asian Orange this Saturday in Vietnam, August 10, 1961, August 10, 2022. The events were attended by standing vice chairwoman of the Provincial Fatherland Front Committee Đảng Minh Lũy and chairwoman of the Provincial Association for Wisdom of Asian Orange, the Oceans, Võ Thị Đẹp. After 18 years of development, the association has been a support for victims, building trust from the party committees and people's committees at all levels, and trusted by sponsors, businesses and individuals. Since 2005, associations at all levels in the province have mobilized more than 76 billion Vietnam dong and taken care of victims and families of Agent Orange victims, more than 74 billion Vietnam dong, in which 393 charitable houses were built, more than 109,000 gifts were donated, provided monthly fostering allowance for 2,625 victims and 175 Agent Orange victims participated in the resistance wars affected by toxic chemicals, were steamed and detoxified by the Hubbard method at the Toxification Center in Yelai and Lam Dong provinces, with a total cost of nearly 1 billion Vietnam Dong. On this occasion, the Provincial Association for Victims of Agent Orange, or Delsin, gave 20 gifts to the Agent Orange victims. This is aimed at reducing difficulties and joining hands to ease the pain of Agent Orange victims. On August 10, Tainan Tourism Association coordinated with Tainan Tourism Promotion Information Center to organize a farm trip with the team, a survey of Tainan Tourism Potential. Participating in the survey were Mr. Trương Văn Hùng, Director of Tainan Provincial Department of Culture, Sport and Tourism, and more than 100 domestic travel businesses and reporters from news agencies. The delegation visited and surveyed famous tourist attractions of Tainan province, such as experiencing the cable car system of Vung Sơn Peak, participate in the populations of Ba Deng Mountain National Tourist Area, Tainan Holy See, Gokeng, Bagoda, Experience vegetarian cuisines, specialties, Trang Bang Dear Wettis rice paper. It's given fan trip members a different feeling about the bayful lands of Tainan, where the beauty of nature converges with mountains, rivers, lake, garden forests, and units spiritual tourism. Thereby, on member would discuss and give suggestions in order to attract more and more tourists to Tainan tourism. This is one of the effective activity to have information about Tainan tourism's be active risk widely advertised in major newspaper as well as on the website of travel comedy, travel inside and outside the province. Since early this year, the Market Management Department of the Ning Province has been directing key tasks such as checking, controlling, monitoring and grabbing market developments in terms of supply and demand, prices and commodities, in order to detect and firmly handle if any market instability occurs, as well as well manage the area. In July 2022, the market management teams examined 95 cases, detected 43 violations related to acts of trading in counterfeit goods, trading goods of unknown origin, selling goods whose quality doesn't fit to relevant technical regulations, Violations of not posting prices of goods or services that must be posted according to the provisions of law, trading smuggled cigarettes, etc. 38 cases were administratively sanctioned with over 440 million Vietnam dong submitted to the state budget. In the last months of 2022, the market is forecasted to have complicated development due to the high consumption demand of the people. The Provincial Market Management Department will inspect the observance of the law, fight against fraud in measurement, quality counterfeit goods, intellectual property violations, smuggled goods, banned goods, and unknown origin goods, etc. 
detect and firmly handle when there is market instability. Ladies and gentlemen, the police of Dương Minh Châu District have just coordinated with the People's Committee of Phước Ninh Camille to organize the launching ceremony of the Pons Model Fire Safety Group of Families No. 1 in Bao Dài Hamlet, Phước Ninh Camille. The group has seven households representing those who are living next to each other in self managed group No. 1 in Bao Dài Hamlet, Phước Ninh Camille. Each household is equipped with at least one portable fire extinguisher and one demolition tool such as crowbar, force pliers, hammer, as households were instructed to use and install the fire alarm 114 application. This module is aimed to effectively implement fire prevention and fighting work from the grassroots, meeting the requirements of on-site fire prevention and fighting at the same time linking the model building with the movement on people unite to build a cultural life in residential areas and the movement on people protect national security, contributing to improve the efficiency of initial response for the on-site fire prevention and fighting forces in order to reduce the damage to people and property. In Summer 1 Hamlet, Tanfu Camille, Goyal District, there is a sewing team that both creates table jobs for its members and spreads love with the measures, giving its home forever. It's a charity sewing team located at the house of the team head named Nguyen Thi Thu Hang. The group was established by the Camille Women's Union in June 2021. It so far has six members who are member women of Summer 2 Hamlet branch. In the past time, the team members have voluntarily contributed to the cost of sewing 30 uniforms for poor students, strongly mobilized sponsors to support 50 gifts worth 15 million Vietnam to the poor students and women in the area. The team also often mobilized members to support and help each other in daily life. The team members have that it will be supported by sponsors to buy materials to make more clothes for poor women and uniforms for poor students in the area. The Odeon tennis player Lee Hoàng Nam has made a great contribution to the Vietnamese national team as defeating Jordanian tennis player with a score of 3-0 in the group stage of the 2022 David Cups Asia Oceania Group 3 taking place at Tây Ninh Hải Đăng Tennis Club. Lee Hoàng Nam, ranked 344 on the ATB rankings, played in the second match of men's singles, messed up again after La Sebe. The 18 years old of Zogdanian's tennis player, ranked 645, is considered an uncomfortable opponent of Hoàng Nam when he won two consecutive tournaments in July. In the direct series, Sebe last 5-3, Hoàng Nam spectacularly served to match point before win A6, thereby winning the final 2-1 with the score of 6-2, 4-6 and 7-6 after nearly three hours of competition. From the beginning, I have determined that the Southern team is very strong this time and they have stable performances. Their team also have victories in two international tournaments but with a spirit of perseverance and concentrating. Until now, I have won for the Vietnamese tennis team. In October 2021, after 18 months of not playing because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Hoàng Nam broke to 965 ATB. After that, Nam participated in seven of M15 tournaments in the last two months of 2021 with achievements, three championships, three semifinals, one time in the second round, one loss in the first round. These achievements have him at 39 points to get 52 points and zoom from 965 to 577 ADB on December 6, 2021. Recalling Hoàng Nam's number to better understand the rigors of professional tennis, as well as filling his unremitting efforts to conquer each new peak in his career. Before the 2022 Davis Cup, although he did not win M Fighting Putin Malaysia 2022, is the also an impressive achievement for Hoàng Nam 
because in the past two months he has won four times and one runner-up in five times, competing in M fighting, including three times in Thailand and two times in Malaysia. Phang Nam victory also adds a solid morals to Vietnamese teams in the next month when in men's double match, Lê Quốc Khánh and Nguyễn Văn Phương wins Hamas An Awas and Mohamed An Kotov with a score of 6-3 and 6-4. Vietnamese team won the final 3-0 against Jordans. I know it was a bit difficult at first. There was sometimes with a bit of negligence when I was in the list. I let opening team get excited and soften the score. But after I managed to settle my mind, I tried to ray up. This victory is also a motivation for the whole teams in the upcoming match in order to have a chance to reach the playoffs in the David Cup Group 2. Captain Trung Quốc Phong commented, The teams tend to win one out of three plays to advance to the playoffs round is so high. After two professional tournaments in Malaysia, Hangnam's physicals had not yet fully recovered. However, the remaining members, such as Nguyễn Văn Phương, Trịnh Linh Giang, or Phạm Minh Tuấn, are all in stable manner, with the 341 ATP position when updating the rankings. Hoàng Nam will continue to achieve a higher rank after the David Cup's Asians Oceania Group 2, as well as Hoàng Nam will always be the leading boss of Vietnamese tennis as David Cup. Meanwhile, the representative of the Pacific Oceania's team highly appreciated the Vietnamese team, especially the players who won four consecutive professional tournament Lee Hoàng Nam. The representative of this team is looking forward to the between two teams in the final match on August 13. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.